receiving heaven's glory the night that Christ was born. Listen to the angels rejoicing ever so sweetly, receiving heaven's glory the night that Christ was born. to the angels rejoicing ever so sweetly receiving heaven's glory the night that Christ was born can't you see the people coming from every nation pleading for salvation the night that Christ was born vocal selection. Please welcome for the invocation, Prophet Dr. Paul Brantley. Dr. Brantley is a member of the Eagles Nest Cathedral International under the leadership of Bishop Daniel E. Richardson. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you for this time You've allowed us to come together to give your name, honor, glory, and praise. We pray for this occasion that you've allowed us to be at, God, as we celebrate you during this season. Father, we know that today may have been busy and we've been surrounded by many obstacles, but we want to take this time just to say thank you. Thank you for being God. 
Thank you for being our Father. Thank you for being able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. We ask now that you bless this time, consecrate this people. We give your name, honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Dr. Branton. Please welcome to the podium Student Government so Association Executive President, Mr. Mike Davis. Good evening. good evening. I said good evening. good evening. I am Mike Davis Jr., a senior civil engineering scholar from the capital city of Montgomery, Alabama. And I do serve as the 2023-2024 Student Government Association President. It is my distinct honor and privilege to stand before you today on behalf of the Student Government Association as we all come together for the 2023 annual tree lighting ceremony. This Christmas tree right here behind me symbolizes the Bulldog family, a family rich in heritage divine and one that will love you from your head to all the way down to your toes. Thank you for joining us and be sure to stay warm and have a very merry Bulldog Christmas. Tears, 
I claim you to be the Lamb of God. New life can begin, yeah. For you washed away, washed away every one of my sins. And who the Son sets free is surely free indeed. Claim you to be the Lamb of God. Oh. Dr. Paul Brantley for this evening's special Christmas message. Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing? All right, if you'll do me just a huge favor, if you just clap your hands, that'll get us a little bit warm around here. Just, all right, I feel better. At least you make me feel a little bit better. So, uh, briefly, want to uh, stand and just give you a little bit of something I believe that will be a blessing to all, to Dr. Wims and his cabinet, to the esteemed faculty and staff of the illustrious A&M University, to my baby girl, Miss Alabama A&M, Miss Cheyenne Ross and her court. Thanks for this opportunity to share with the A&M campus. I want to share from a real quick thing from Matthew chapter number 5 and verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that sitteth upon a hill. Born 1926 
was a man who was the product of a rape. He dropped out of school in the seventh grade to take care of his mother who suffered mentally, psychologically, and analytically from the trauma of being raped. This man gallantly dropped out of the seventh grade to care for his mother. Some years later, he met a woman. They got married. They birthed seven kids in a little city called Swainsboro, Georgia. Those seven children were born, they moved, migrated to a little town called Syracuse, New York. They birthed another seven children. This seventh grade dropout, product of a rape, raising 14 children. He is now at the ripe age of about 27 years old. He began his own business, seventh grade dropout, product of a rape, raising 14 children. This man begins an asphalt company in Syracuse, New York, with a seventh grade education, product of a rape, raising 17, 14 children. All the time while raising these 14 children with seven boys, seven girls, this man was noted throughout the city as being a man that was innovative. He was able to shine in a place where people thought he would be nothing because he was a seventh grade dropout, a product of a rape, raising 14 children. The conversations were had around people's table about this young man who started a business, seventh grade dropout, product of a rape, raising 14 children. They talked about this man so bad that yet and still his continuance to understand that this is just a temporary thing. He strived, he worked hard, putting all 14 kids through college on a seventh grade education, product of a rape, raising 14 children. No Fannie Mae, no scholarships, no loans, just hard work and an asphalt company. He died, went on to glory, leaving behind a business that he owned for 65 years, a seventh grade dropout, product of a rape, raising 14 children. I submit to you during this holiday season, according to the book of Matthew, that he said, let us, our light so shine. I submit to you from just a simple phrase, just shine. I am Paul Brantley, the seventh child, 14th, 14th child, seventh boy of that man, Mr. Claiborne Brantley. A graduate, Syracuse University. A graduate, Culinary Institute of America with a master's degree. A graduate of Colgate University, Bible University with a theology degree. And things that my dad taught me, this is real bless you and I hope this will bless you and I'll take my seat. The thing that was really important to me that you understand is that regardless of where you come from, regardless of what it looks like, we could talk about Jesus being born in a manger, born in a barn with a bunch of animals, but at the end of the day, the only thing that really only matters is that you shine. It may be tough right now, but you just shine. It may be rough right now. You may not have gotten the grades you wanted to get. You're getting ready to go home, and things look like it might not be what it should be for the holiday season. I submit to you, just shine. Just like this tree that will shine in a few moments every time you pass it. Remember, I am the light. I'm going to make a difference where I am. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Brantley, for your inspiring message for the holiday season. And now is the special moment we have been waiting for, the lighting of the Christmas tree. How 
beautiful. Please join me in applauding this wonderful tradition here on the AAMU campus. Wishing our students, faculty, staff, and visitors a joyous Christmas season. Please welcome Dr. Brock Talley, Vice President for Student Affairs, for remarks. Good evening. Good evening, Bulldogs. Let's start by giving Dr. Brown, Ms. Santa, my student leaders a round of applause. <laughs> On behalf of our president, Dr. Daniel K. Williams, I'd like to say thank you for attending this year's tree lighting ceremony. This tree is symbolic of many things, family, generosity, love, and togetherness. The lights on this tree remind us of the power that we possess when we work together. As we enter this holiday season, I encourage you to rest, reflect, and recharge. Please be safe, and as always, go Bulldogs. Thank you, Dr. Talley. We will be transitioning our guests to the Ralph Lee Student Center for refreshments, Christmas carols, and a special visit from Santa Claus.